today I'm going to show you my really simple no build car camping setup. So this is what it looks like when I open the boot and this is my bed. There's my little souvenirs from my trip this time and all my bed is is if I open this door I just grabbed a cushion off our sofas because last time my first time car camping I slept width ways across and whilst it was all right I was a bit squashed up so I figured this time I would sleep lengthways which I'm still a little bit squashed like it's obviously not the like I'm five foot five it's not five foot five but I can kind of get my legs straight in this position so it works quite well so I've just got one seat down a sofa cushion on top and then I did try putting the other sofa cushion in but it just didn't fit so all I did was just get this really thick blanket and just fold it up and it's been comfortable it's been I've slept three nights now and it's just it's been no problems at all and then I just have my double duvet from home that I have folded over so I sleep on half of it and then the other half goes over me and it's been it honestly has been surprisingly comfortable underneath the cushion i just have a couple of bags one that i just store any food in and then this is a backpack that i just take out from on walks i take my drink and things like that and also if i'm just like nipping into a toilet in the morning and i want to take like my toothbrush and hairbrush and things i just pop that pop those things into there just go into the toilet and get fresh in the morning in the passenger seat there's nothing here i just have my big i think this is a gallon water bottle that i just fill up when i can got my makeup there that to be honest i never really use and then just like some more this is just some juice with some water in and another bottle <laughs> with some juice in this is like the one that i drink so i just fill this up when i go places with drinking water to the side in the boot i just have this pink bag is my gym bag so i have my um gym stuff and also like shampoo conditioner and things my towel is usually in there as well but i was just letting it air out a bit so i've not put it away yet so if i need a shower whilst i'm on the road i just grab this bag go into the gym in the uk you can be a member of pure gym and there's loads of locations all around the country where it's good you can go and get a workout in and also grab a shower this bag here has my clothes in not all of them my jeans this bag at the moment doesn't have anything in it did have like electronics and stuff in there some wires and stuff like that but that all fits really nicely just there when i'm going to bed i just put a reflectix over there it's actually i'll show you it, it's under here in fact under here let me show you it's a little bit tricky to pull up because of all the stuff on it but i've got my stove under there if i want to cook i've got my charger fork it's an electric car my trainers for the gym and then these are my window coverings i'll just get them out to show you so this one is the one i put on the back it's actually uh, like a de-icer thing it's supposed to go on your front window to stop your your car getting iced up but i just sort of wedge it i open it up and just wedge it in there and then close the boot over and it works perfectly and then i have three curtains one that goes on the side window there one that goes on the side window there and then one that goes across which when i bought them i initially wasn't quite so sure whether i would need something like reflectix something but honestly these have worked really quite well so when i'm not using them they store under the thing in the boot let's get them back in Moving around to the other side, this is just one seat that's left up. You can see the bed is there, and then it's quite nice to have this space because it's, it's quite a lot low. If you can see how high this is, because you've got the back of the seat plus then the sofa cushion thing. It's quite nice to have that spot to sit. I have this mat thing on it, it's like one of those, you know, like bed wetting things i had them left over from when i had kids and i just put that there because sometimes like 
getting my shoes on and things. I just don't want to get the seat dirty. So I keep that there. In the back here, I just have some like toilet roll and wipes and stuff like that. I have a charger down here where I can charge my phone, my camera. I haven't tried using my laptop how much charge it has so next time i think that will be a good experiment to see if i can actually use my laptop and charge that up on the road oh i just thought as well i do have under here under the boot thing where my stove is i do have a pan as well obviously i need a pan to heat anything up rather than just the stove and that is my very simple car camping setup i am really new to car camping i've only done it a handful of times and i only do it for a few days at a time i would like to do it for longer if you think there's anything more that i need if you're an expert, please let me know. I'd be grateful for any tips. Like I say, I'm new to car camping and I'm an absolute convert. I love it so much. Like, look where I am. Ignore the bin. I woke up to a view like this this morning. Not this particular view. I was somewhere else, but it's incredible. I love it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Like I say, if you do have any tips on car camping, please do let me know. I will see you in the next one. Bye.